From Marilyn Monroe's rumored secret affairs with the Kennedy brothers to Arnold Schwarzenegger's surprising secret child, we're counting down the 20 worst cheaters in Hollywood history. One, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson is as famous for his off-screen antics as he is for his on-screen performances. His charismatic presence and devil-may-care attitude extended into his personal life, which featured numerous relationships and well-documented rumors of infidelity over the years. Nicholson's reputation as a ladies' man is no secret. He never married during the height of his fame, which gave him a certain playboy persona, but he was involved in several long-term relationships that were often punctuated by his well-known infidelities. One of Nicholson's relationships was with actress Angelica Houston, with whom he had an on-again, off-again relationship from 1973 to 1990. Their relationship was complicated due to Nicholson's inability to remain faithful. Houston herself has spoken candidly about the emotional toll Nicholson's infidelity took on her, describing in her memoir how she often felt hurt and betrayed. Nicholson's affairs were numerous and involved both lesser-known women and high-profile celebrities. For instance, during his relationship with Huston, he reportedly had affairs with other actresses and models. One of the most shocking revelations came when Nicholson was involved with Rebecca Broussard, which led to the end of his long-term relationship with Huston. Broussard was much younger than Nicholson, and their affair resulted in two children. Despite becoming a father again in his 50s, Nicholson's commitment issues persisted, and he and Broussard eventually separated. <laughs> Nicholson's love life has always been part of his public persona. He once famously said in an interview, I am who I am and I'm not gonna change. Two, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. His relationships, especially his marriages, were full of passion, strife, and infidelity, which only added to his man in black persona. Cash's first marriage was to Vivian Liberto in 1954, whom he met just before his deployment to Germany with the Air Force. They married soon after his return, and their relationship was filled with love. However, as Cash's music career took off, so did his touring schedule, leading him down a path of temptations. Cash was often away from home, performing night after night, and his absence took a toll on his marriage. He started to have numerous affairs while on the road. His addiction to drugs and alcohol during these years further strained his relationship with Vivian, creating a cycle of remorse and repetition that he struggled to break. One of the most significant relationships outside his marriage was with June Carter, a fellow country music star. Their collaboration on stage quickly developed into a deep emotional connection. June Carter often helped Cash through his drug relapses and was a stabilizing force in his chaotic life. Vivian Liberto filed for divorce in 1966, which was a scandal at the time, splashed across newspapers and gossip columns. Cash's affair with Carter was not a well-kept secret and it became part of the lore of his life story. After his divorce was finalized, Cash married June Carter in 1968. However, the early years of their relationship were built amidst the ongoing turbulence of Cash's life, including overcoming his substance abuse issues, which June helped him conquer. While his early years were marked by indiscretion and the chaos of a rising star, his later years with June showed a man who had found some measure of peace. They remained married until they died in 2003, only a few months apart. 3. Arnold Schwarzenegger Arnold Schwarzenegger, a giant in both the entertainment and political arenas, has lived a life as large as his physique. One of the more shocking revelations about him was his unfaithfulness, which came to light towards the end of his governorship of California and had significant repercussions on his personal life. Schwarzenegger was married to Maria Shriver, a journalist and member of the Kennedy family in 1986. Together, they became one of America's most famous couples, balancing their careers in politics and media. They raised four children and presented a united front that combined celebrity and traditional American values. However, in May 2011, just after Schwarzenegger's term as governor had ended, the Los Angeles Times broke a story that Schwarzenegger had fathered a child with the family's longtime housekeeper, Mildred Bennett, more than a decade earlier. Shriver was kept secret about this affair and the child until Schwarzenegger himself revealed it to her after he left office. The revelation was a bombshell, leading to intense media scrutiny and public backlash. Schwarzenegger's image as a family man crumbled, and Shriver moved out of their home shortly after. 
couple's separation was very public, and they eventually filed for divorce. The son he fathered with Bayana was born just a few days after his youngest legitimate child with Schreiber. Schwarzenegger has since taken steps to be a part of his son Joseph's life and has been seen in public with him on several occasions. Joseph Bayana has grown up physically resembling his father and has shown interest in bodybuilding and acting. 4. Charlie Chaplin Charlie was known not just for his films, but also for his numerous marriages and affairs, often with much younger women. His first notable relationship scandal occurred with his first wife, Mildred Harris. They married in 1918 when Chaplin was 29, and Harris was just 16, largely because Harris claimed to be pregnant, which turned out to be false at first, though she did later give birth to a son who sadly died in infancy. The marriage was unhappy and short-lived, ending in divorce two years later. His second marriage to another young actress, Lita Gray, was even more scandalous. Gray was only 16 when she married the 35-year-old Chaplin in 1924, and this marriage, too, was prompted by a pregnancy. The union produced two sons, but it was fraught with issues. Gray accused Chaplin of cruelty and other misdeeds in a sensational divorce filing that became fodder for the tabloids. The divorce proceedings were messy, with Gray's detailed divorce complaint leaking to the press and causing a huge scandal because of its explicit content and accusations. Chaplin's third marriage to Paulette Goddard was more discreet in terms of infidelity issues. Still, it was also surrounded by mystery, as it was never clear when they exactly married or even if they were legally married at first. They traveled together and Goddard starred in several of his films. The relationship ended after several years amidst unconfirmed speculations of Chaplin's wandering eye and Goddard's independent streak. His fourth and final marriage was to Una O'Neill, daughter of the famous playwright Eugene O'Neill. Una was only 18 when she married the 54-year-old Chaplin in 1943. Despite the age gap and initial shock from the public and her family, this marriage was Chaplin's longest and happiest. It lasted until his death, and he was free from the scandals of infidelity that had marked his earlier relationships. They had eight children together, and Una remained devoted to Chaplin throughout their life together. 5. Errol Flynn Errol Flynn was famous for his off-screen exploits, which included a reputation for womanizing. His charismatic demeanor and irresistible charm made him a Hollywood heartthrob, but these traits paved the way for a personal life marked by numerous affairs. Flynn's first marriage was to actress Lily Damita in 1935. Like much of Flynn's romantic life, the union was full of volatility and alleged mutual infidelity. Damita, a prominent actress in her own right, and Flynn had a stormy relationship that was frequently in the public eye. The marriage lasted seven years before the couple decided they had had enough in 1942. Perhaps the most notorious episode in Flynn's life was the 1942 trial where he was accused of indulging two underage girls. Flynn was ultimately acquitted, but the trial was a media circus and added to his reputation as a ladies' man. This term often glossed over the more unsavory aspects of his conduct. Despite the acquittal, his image was tarnished, yet paradoxically his fame and allure only increased. After his turbulent first marriage, Flynn married Nora Eddington, who was a young woman working at the courthouse during his trial. Their marriage saw the birth of two daughters, but was similarly troubled by Flynn's ongoing infidelities and his heavy drinking. Flynn's third and final marriage was to actress Patrice Wymore in 1950. Despite his marriage and his role as a father to their daughter, Flynn's lifestyle remained largely unchanged. He continued to be linked with numerous women, and his marriage to Wymore, although it lasted until his death, was marred by Flynn's consistent infidelities and absences. 6. Clark Gable Clark Gable's first marriage was to Josephine Dillon, his acting coach and significantly older than him. As Gable's star began to rise, his eyes wandered and their marriage eventually ended. His second marriage, to socialite Rhea Langham, similarly saw issues due to Gable's relentless charm and inability to stay faithful. The marriage was troubled by Gable's affairs with Hollywood actresses, which were often publicized by the media. However, his affair with actress Loretta Young while filming The Call of the Wild in 1935 led to one of the most talked about scandals of that era. This affair resulted in a child, a daughter named Judy, whom Young hid from the public to protect her career and Gable's. 
Young went on an extended vacation to Europe and returned to the U.S. with an adopted daughter, Judy, who later discovered that she was indeed Gable's biological child. Gable's most famous romantic venture was with actress Carol Lombard. They met while he was still married to Rhea Langham and began a relationship that was the subject of much gossip. After securing a divorce from Langham, Gable married Lombard in 1939. Their marriage was passionate and deeply loving, often described as the happiest time of Gable's life. Tragically, it ended in heartbreak when Lombard died in a plane crash in 1942 while returning from a war bond rally. Her death devastated Gable, who was said to have never fully recovered from the loss. After Lombard's death, Gable enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II, a move many saw as a way to honor his late wife. Post-war, he returned to Hollywood, but his life was different. He married twice more, first to Sylvia Ashley and then to Kay Williams. It's said that while his later marriages were less tumultuous regarding public scandals, Gable's earlier affairs and the shadow of his great love for Lombard lingered over them. Seven, Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor's romantic life was almost as famous as her acting career. She was married eight times to seven different men two of which were to Richard Burton. Her love life began with her first marriage to Conrad Nicky Hilton Jr. in 1950 when she was just 18. This marriage was short-lived, marred by Hilton's abusive behavior and excessive drinking. Taylor's quest for true love didn't stop there, and it became a recurring theme in her life story. Her second marriage to British actor Michael Wilding was somewhat more stable and resulted in two sons. However, as Taylor's star continued to rise, the couple grew apart. The most scandalous of her relationships was undoubtedly with singer Eddie Fisher. Fisher was married to actress Debbie Reynolds, who was also Taylor's friend when he began an affair with Taylor. This affair was highly publicized and controversial, as Fisher left Reynolds to marry Taylor in 1959, an act that was seen as a major betrayal by the public and by Hollywood peers. Taylor's relationship with Richard Burton, whom she met on the set of Cleopatra, is perhaps her most famous. Both were married to other people when they began their affair, causing another scandal. Their relationship was filled with intense passion and equally intense conflicts, leading to two marriages and two divorces. Their love affair was nothing short of a Hollywood epic, marked by lavish spending, excessive drinking, and very public arguments. Other marriages included a brief union with Senator John Warner and a somewhat longer one with Larry Fortensky, whom she met in rehab. Each of these relationships had their own dynamics and challenges. While not all were ended by infidelity, each reflected Taylor's constant search for enduring love amidst the complexities of her life. 8. Marilyn Monroe Although more often seen as a victim of exploitation, Monroe's alleged affairs, including rumors of relationships with both John F. Kennedy and Robert Kennedy, have cemented her place in the lore of Hollywood scandal. Monroe's marriages were marked by struggle and, in some cases, allegations of infidelity that contributed to their downfalls. Her first marriage, to James Doherty at the age of 16, was a bid to escape from foster care. While this marriage ended without public scandal, it was Monroe's subsequent relationships that drew intense media scrutiny. Her second marriage to Joe DiMaggio, the baseball legend, though intensely passionate, was also fraught with problems, including DiMaggio's jealousy of Monroe's fame and sex symbol status. The marriage lasted only nine months, and while there was no concrete evidence of infidelity, Monroe's growing fame and relationships within Hollywood circles were sources of conflict. However, it was her third marriage to playwright Arthur Miller when rumors of infidelity became more pronounced. During their marriage, Monroe's behavior became increasingly erratic, partly due to her personal struggles and professional pressures. It was rumored that she had affairs during this time, including with her Let's Make Love co-star, Yves Montan, which was widely reported and added strain to her marriage with Miller. Perhaps the most famous and controversial of all Monroe's alleged affairs were those linked to John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert Kennedy. While much of the details remain shrouded in mystery and hearsay, it is widely believed that Monroe had romantic encounters with both men. These relationships have been the subject of extensive speculation and have contributed significantly to the mythology surrounding Monroe's life and death. 9. Richard Burton 
Passionate reunions and painful breakups marked Richard's highly publicized relationships. Burton's first marriage to Sybil Williams in 1949 seemed stable at first, and they had two daughters together. But as Burton's career took off and he became a major star, his fidelity waned. His rising fame brought him into contact with numerous Hollywood starlets, and his charismatic brooding persona made him highly attractive to many women. Reports of his infidelities began to surface, putting strain on his marriage. However, Burton's meeting with Elizabeth Taylor on the set of Cleopatra in 1962 sparked what would become his most famous affair. Both were married at the time, Taylor to Eddie Fisher and Burton to Williams. The Burton-Taylor affair was highly scandalous, drawing media attention worldwide due to their superstar statuses. Their chemistry on and off the screen was undeniable and intense. This led to Burton divorcing Williams and Taylor doing the same with Fisher. Burton and Taylor married in 1964, but their relationship was anything but calm. They were known for their fiery arguments and equally passionate reconciliations. Despite their clear love for each other, Burton's infidelity and both of their temperaments led to their first divorce in 1974. Surprisingly, they remarried in 1975, only to divorce again in 1976. During their breaks, Burton was rumored to have had affairs with other actresses, though none as captivating as his relationship with Taylor. Burton married twice after his second divorce from Taylor, first to model Susie Hunt and then to makeup artist Sally Hay. His marriage to Hunt was short-lived, though his final marriage to Hay was reportedly more stable and lasted until he died in 1984. 10. Ingrid Bergman Ingrid Bergman, one of Hollywood's most beloved and respected actresses, experienced a major personal and professional scandal that rocked her image as the epitome of on-screen purity and grace. Bergman was married to Dr. Peter Lindstrom, a neurosurgeon, with whom she had a daughter, Pia. The marriage was seen as stable, but by the late 1940s, Bergman's desires and professional life began diverging from this perceived domestic bliss. The turning point came when she met Italian director Roberto Rossellini. In 1949, Bergman wrote to Rossellini, expressing admiration for his work and her interest in working with him. This led to her role in Stromboli, a film directed by Rossellini. During the film's production, Bergman and Rossellini began an affair. This relationship was not just scandalous because both were married, but also because Bergman became pregnant with Rossellini's child while still legally married to Lindstrom. The affair caused a massive scandal in the United States where Bergman had been idolized as a model of virtue on and off the screen. The news of her affair and subsequent pregnancy led to her being denounced on the floor of the U.S. Senate as a powerful influence for evil and to being ostracized by much of Hollywood. The press coverage was overwhelmingly negative and Bergman found herself at the center of a public backlash that was both harsh and unforgiving. Bergman's marriage to Lindstrom ended in divorce, and she married Rossellini in 1950. The couple had three children together, including actress Isabella Rossellini. However, this marriage ultimately ended in divorce in 1957. During her marriage to Rossellini, Bergman's career in Hollywood was on hold, and she made films primarily in Italy with her husband. 11. Frank Sinatra Frank Sinatra's affairs were as legendary as his music career. Sinatra's first marriage to Nancy Barbato in 1939 seemed grounded initially as they were childhood sweethearts. However, as Sinatra's fame skyrocketed, the marriage faced immense strain. His constant touring, rising celebrity status, and involvement with numerous Hollywood starlets led to their eventual separation. Sinatra's affairs during this marriage were not particularly secret. His high-profile relationships, particularly with actresses, were frequently the subject of tabloid gossip. One of Sinatra's most significant public affairs was with Ava Gardner, which began while he married Nancy. Gardner was a major film star with a fiery personality that matched Sinatra's. Their affair was intense in public, leading to Sinatra's divorce from Nancy in 1951. He married Gardner shortly after, but this relationship was as volatile as it was passionate. Both parties were involved in numerous extramarital affairs, which, coupled with their heavy drinking and arguments, led to their divorce in 1957. Even after his marriage to Gardner, Sinatra's love life continued to be lively. He was linked to many famous women, including Lauren Bacall, Juliet Prowse, and Mia Farrow, to whom he was briefly married from 1966 to 1968. A significant age difference marked his marriage to Farrow, 
Sinatra was 30 years her senior. Sinatra's fourth and final marriage to Barbara Marks in 1976 lasted until he died in 1998. While this marriage was more stable, rumors of Sinatra's infidelities continued, though they did not dominate headlines as his earlier romantic endeavors did. 12. Debbie Reynolds Debbie Reynolds, beloved for her girl-next-door charm and successful film career, also had a personal life marked by public heartbreak and betrayal that often mirrored the dramatic roles she played on screen. Reynolds's first marriage was to singer Eddie Fisher in 1955. They quickly became one of Hollywood's most celebrated couples, embodying a perfect American family image. The couple had two children, Carrie and Todd Fisher. However, this idyllic portrayal is shattered when Fisher has an affair with Elizabeth Taylor, a close friend of Reynolds's at the time. Taylor's husband, Mike Todd, had recently died in a plane crash, and Fisher consoled her, which led to their affair. The affair between Fisher and Taylor was highly public and scandalous, with intense media coverage that devastated Reynolds. The public sympathy was largely with Reynolds, as she was seen as the wronged woman, a portrayal that only bolstered her image as a sympathetic and enduring figure in Hollywood. Reynolds and Fisher divorced in 1959, and this episode remained one of the most talked about scandals of the era. After her Fisher divorce, Reynolds married Harry Carl, a businessman and shoe store chain owner in 1960. This marriage, too, was riddled with problems, mainly due to Carl's gambling addiction and poor financial management, which eventually led to Reynolds's financial ruin. After nearly a decade of dealing with these issues, Reynolds and Carl divorced in 1973. Reynolds's third marriage was to real estate developer Richard Hamlet in 1984. Much like her previous marriage, this relationship was troubled and marked by disappointments. The union was far from happy and eventually divorced in 1996, but throughout these challenges, Debbie Reynolds remained a resilient and beloved figure in the entertainment industry. 13. Eddie Fisher Eddie Fisher was a popular singer in the 1950s. He was known not only for his hit songs, but also for his personal life, particularly his marriages and affairs, which drew as much attention as his music career. Fisher's first marriage was to actress Debbie Reynolds, one of America's sweethearts and a beloved film star. They were the golden couple of Hollywood, admired and cherished by fans. Together, they had two children, including Carrie Fisher, who would later become famous in her own right as an actress. However, Fisher's wandering eye led to the demise of this seemingly idyllic union. The most notorious chapter in Fisher's life began when he had an affair with Elizabeth Taylor, the widow of his best friend Mike Todd, as we saw earlier. After Taylor, Fisher's romantic life continued to be complex and marked by further marriages and divorces. He married Connie Stevens, with whom he had two daughters. This marriage, too, ended in divorce. Subsequent marriages to Terry Richard and Betty Lynn also ended in divorce, each adding to Fisher's reputation as a serial monogamist unable to maintain a lasting relationship. Throughout his life, Eddie Fisher's personal decisions, particularly those concerning his romantic life, often overshadowed his professional achievements. His affairs and marriages made headlines that competed with his musical releases, and his public image suffered as a result. 14. Joan Crawford Crawford was married four times, and her first marriage was to Douglas Fairbanks Jr., the son of silent film stars. Though the union linked her with Hollywood royalty, it was not without problems. Fairbanks reportedly struggled with Crawford's rising fame, which eclipsed his career. Rumors circulated about both partners being unfaithful, and the marriage ended in divorce in 1933. Her second marriage to Franco Tone, a stage and film actor, also bore signs of strain due to jealousy and career competition. Tone was deeply involved in the theater, a passion Crawford tried to share but never fully embraced. Their marriage, filled with professional rivalry and personal insecurities, also faced allegations of infidelity, particularly on Crawford's part, as she was rumored to have had affairs with other co-stars during their relationship. They divorced in 1939. Crawford's third marriage to Philip Terry seemed more stable at first, but eventually succumbed to similar issues. The marriage lasted from 1942 until 1946, and during this time, there were fewer public rumors, but the marriage ultimately did not withstand the pressures of Crawford's career and her strong personality. Her fourth and final marriage was to Alfred Steele, the CEO of Pepsi-Cola, in 1955. This marriage catapulted her into a new social stratum, 
but Steele's sudden death in 1959 left Crawford widowed and in financial uncertainty, as Steele had accrued substantial debt. There were no significant rumors of problems in this marriage, perhaps because it marked a period when Crawford focused more on her corporate responsibilities at Pepsi and less on her film career. 15. Robert Mitchum With his deep voice and bad boy screen persona, Robert Mitchum was a Hollywood icon known for his roles as the tough guy. However, his off-screen life was equally colorful, marked by bouts of controversy that often paralleled the rugged characters he portrayed. Mitchum married Dorothy Spence in 1940 and remained together until his death in 1997. Despite the longevity of their marriage, it was no secret that Mitchum had numerous affairs throughout their life together. His approach to marriage and fidelity was somewhat unconventional, and he was known for his candid, often dismissive attitude toward the scandals his behavior generated. One of the most talked about aspects of Mitchum's life was his relaxed, almost indifferent attitude to his infidelities. He did not deny his extramarital activities, nor did he seem particularly troubled by them. This blasé attitude was part of his broader public persona as a rebel who did not conform to the typical Hollywood mold or the societal expectations of the time. Mitchum's affairs were not usually with high-profile women, which shielded him from the more intense scrutiny that other stars of his era faced. However, his liaisons were an open secret in Hollywood, discussed among insiders, but not always making it to the day's gossip columns. This was partly due to the different media landscape of the time, which was less invasive than today's celebrity coverage. Despite his indiscretions, Mitchum's marriage endured, a testament to what appeared to be a complex understanding between him and his wife. Dorothy often accompanied Mitchum to Hollywood events, and they maintained a united front, suggesting a private acceptance or at least a tolerance of his behaviors. 16. Steve McQueen The king of cool, Steve McQueen, was as famous for his rebellious image and thrilling movie roles as he was for his turbulent personal life. McQueen's first marriage to Neil Adams in 1956 encapsulated much of the charisma and complexity of his persona. Adams was a dancer and actress who shared McQueen's passion for the arts, but their marriage was challenging. McQueen's rising fame brought numerous temptations, and he was known for being unfaithful. He admitted in interviews that he was not a faithful husband, linking his behavior to the insecurities and pressures of his growing celebrity status. Their marriage was a roller coaster of highs and lows, as Adams also dealt with the emotional and psychological effects of McQueen's infidelities. Despite this, they had two children and were married for over a decade. Their relationship finally ended in 1972, largely due to McQueen's increasingly strained home life. After his divorce from Adams, McQueen married actress Allie McGraw, his co-star in the movie The Getaway. McGraw had divorced her husband, producer Robert Evans, to be with McQueen, making their relationship highly controversial. However, McQueen's possessive and sometimes controlling behavior, combined with his ongoing infidelities, led to the breakdown of their marriage, which ended in 1978. Throughout his life, McQueen's relationships with women were complex and often problematic. His third and final marriage was to model Barbara Minty in 1980, just a year before his death. His marriage was quieter, possibly due to McQueen's failing health as he battled cancer. 17. Katherine Hepburn Hepburn's long-term affair with Spencer Tracy was one of Hollywood's most open secrets. Tracy, a married man whose wife, Louise Treadwell, chose not to divorce him due to her Catholic beliefs, had a relationship with Hepburn that began in the 1940s and lasted until he died in 1967. This relationship was both a professional partnership and a deeply personal connection. Hepburn and Tracy starred in nine films together, and their on-screen chemistry directly reflected their off-screen bond. Despite their deep affection, the nature of their relationship required discretion due to Tracy's marital status and the conservative social mores of the time. Hepburn was known to have respected Tracy's situation, never pushing for a public acknowledgement of their relationship during his lifetime. She even went to great lengths to protect their privacy, often leaving Tracy's home before dawn to avoid drawing attention from the press and the public. Numerous other affairs did not mark Hepburn's involvement with Tracy. Rather, it was defined by its longevity and depth. Hepburn once mentioned that she loved Tracy blindingly and adjusted much of her life to fit his needs, including caring for him in his later years when he struggled with health issues. 
Before her relationship with Tracy, Hepburn had been married once to Ludlow Ogden Smith, a union that ended in divorce in 1934. She rarely spoke of this short and reportedly unhappy marriage, and with the affair with Tracy aside, Hepburn was rumored to have had relationships with other notable figures, including Howard Hughes and John Ford. 18. Marlon Brando Marlon Brando, one of the most influential actors of the 20th century, was as notorious for his personal life as he was revered for his groundbreaking performances. His relationships and romantic entanglements were often controversial. His first marriage to actress Anna Kashfi in 1957 was short-lived, ending in divorce in 1959. Kashfi accused Brando of infidelity, among other issues, which were highly contested in a bitter divorce battle. Following his divorce from Kashfi, Brando married Movita Castaneda in 1960. This marriage, too, was marred by Brando's unfaithfulness. His affairs were not particularly secretive, and his marriage with Castaneda suffered because of his relationships with other women. They eventually separated, and their marriage was later annulled. Brando's third marriage to Tarita Terripaya, his co-star from Mutiny on the Bounty, also saw similar patterns. Despite starting with much affection and resulting in two children, Brando's inability to remain faithful led to their eventual separation and divorce in 1972. His relationship with Terripaya was one of his more stable unions, yet it could not withstand the pressures of his infidelities. Apart from his marriages, Brando's love life included numerous liaisons with many women and, reportedly, some men. These relationships were with co-stars, fans, and Hollywood insiders. His affairs were often brief but intense, contributing to his reputation as a highly sexual and somewhat unpredictable figure in Hollywood. One of the most public aspects of Brando's complicated love life was his relationship with actress Rita Moreno. Their on-again, off-again affair in the 1950s and 60s was passionate and stormy. Moreno herself has spoken about the emotional highs and lows of their relationship, indicating that Brando's infidelities and their intense emotional connection led her to a point of profound despair. 19. Judy Garland Garland's first marriage was to composer David Rose in 1941, when she was just 19 years old. This relationship ended by 1944, partly due to Garland's intense work schedule and emotional issues, and partly because of infidelities on both sides. Rose was Garland's first husband, and their young, fragile love couldn't withstand the pressures of Garland's rising stardom and Hollywood's intrusive nature. Her second marriage to director Vincente Minnelli in 1945 seemed more promising. They met while working together on the set of Meet Me in St. Louis, and their relationship blossomed into marriage. They had a daughter, Liza Minnelli, who would become a star in her own right. However, the marriage to Minnelli also suffered due to Garland's increasing dependency on drugs and alcohol. Garland's third marriage to Sid Luft in 1952 was perhaps the most impactful in her career resurgence, as Luft helped manage and revive her concert career. Despite their partnership producing two children, Lorna and Joey Luft, and some professional successes, the marriage deteriorated under financial strain and personal discord leading to a separation in 1963 and a protracted divorce process that ended in 1965. Her fourth and fifth marriages, to actor Mark Herron in 1965 and businessman Mickey Deans in 1969, were short-lived and filled with problems. Her marriage to Deans was in March 1969, just months before her tragic death in June of the same year. Judy Garland's quest for love and stability was often unfulfilled throughout her life, reflecting the immense pressures and personal battles she faced. 20. Rita Hayworth Rita Hayworth, known as the love goddess of Hollywood, epitomized glamour and stardom in the 1940s. Her first marriage to Edward Judson in 1937 was instrumental in boosting her career, but detrimental to her happiness. Judson was controlling and manipulative, and his management of her career came at the cost of her emotional well-being. This marriage, fraught with Judson's alleged infidelities and abusive behavior, ended in divorce in 1942. Her most famous marriage was to Orson Welles in 1943, whom she met at the peak of her career. Both were massive stars, but their marriage struggled under the weight of their careers and personal demons. Welles was often unfaithful, a fact that deeply hurt Hayworth. 
Despite their passionate start, the marriage was plagued by Wells' wandering attention and the couple's frequent clashes, leading to their divorce in 1947. Hayworth's third marriage to Prince Ali Khan in 1949 was her most publicized. Marrying into royalty brought Hayworth immense attention, but little happiness. The marriage faced numerous challenges, including cultural clashes and intense scrutiny from the press. Ali Khan's well-known infidelities and playboy lifestyle were too much for Hayworth, and the couple separated in 1951, with their divorce finalized in 1953. After her relationship with Khan, Hayworth married singer Dick Hames in 1953. Hames was also unfaithful and had financial troubles that Hayworth found herself entangled in. Her final marriage was to film producer James Hill in 1958, and Hill was reportedly abusive, and the marriage quickly deteriorated amidst allegations of domestic strife. They divorced in 1961. For more stories about Golden Age Hollywood stars, be sure to subscribe and see you on the next one. And see you on the next one.